The comment says, is it just me? I look at her and I don't see plus size at all. If I was told this when I was at my heaviest, I would be so excited. I didn't know being plus size was desirable. For me, being at a healthy weight for my body type, becoming as strong as I possibly can, and being mentally fit is what I see as desirable at this point in my weight loss journey. Having your belly hanging out like that isn't cute. I don't understand why you have to prove to someone that you don't even know that you're obese. That comment was clearly a compliment. They gave you a compliment and you reacted by showing your stomach. Fatness is not a competition. You don't get a prize for being the fattest. Well, you do get a prize. It's just not the one you'd want. I want to talk about this comment because I think it's very common for people to only consider themselves. But a 14, 16 is like a small fat. And if you don't understand what I mean by small fat, please look up the fatness spectrum. I am a size 26 in bottoms or like a 4X typically. Do you know how many stores that I can shop at? It's literally Lane Bryant, Torrid, or if I drive an hour away to the Target that actually carries a bigger selection than my local Target, maybe Target. I used to be able to shop at Old Navy in store, but that's a whole different scenario. But just because you are a small fat, which honestly you're the average size of the US woman, does not automatically mean that all plus size people have access to clothing. The majority of US women are plus size and do not have access to clothing. The comment says, wait, girl, I'm a size 14, 16, which is plus size, right? And I find clothes in all the stores. I get what you're saying, but we have clothes, girl, LOL. The fat spectrum she's talking about is some made up terms created by the fat acceptance community to help themselves identify their fatness by size and privilege. She says she's a size 26 or a 4X pant, which makes her a large fat. Because the commenter is a 1416, they have fat privilege over her. And according to the fat spectrum, that means they're able to access public spaces with less discrimination and restrictions based on their size. This is so crazy to me that even though you're part of the fat acceptance community, you can still get discriminated against by your own people because of how fat you are. If you aren't fat, then privilege. If you are fat, but not too fat, fat privilege. But they're supposed to be all about body positivity and fat liberation. You're complaining about how you can't find physical clothing stores to shop at, but then you proceed to list a handful of them. How many stores do you need? The ones you listed should be enough. Do you know how you can fix this whole clothing problem that you're having? Okay, consider this. You can either shop online or you can lose some weight so you can have more clothing choices. You see what I'm getting here? There's always the option of getting your clothes custom made. So all plus size people do have access to clothing. Plus, how can someone who's 400 pounds or more be able to get to a physical store to go shopping? If they could get to the physical store that carries their size, they wouldn't be able to stand up long enough to look through the clothes and try them on without getting exhausted. When I was 275 pounds, I had a hard time walking around physical stores to shop. I usually just gave up, went home, and shopped online. Now that I'm overweight, I still prefer to shop online than in a physical store. There's way more options online and I don't have to spend time and gas going from store to store and getting aggravated because there's too many people in my way. Do you guys prefer to shop in store or online? Let me know. I've seen multiple videos about this chair on my feed today, so now I'm gonna talk about it. And this has nothing to do with this creator at all. All the videos I've seen about this chair, the people point out that it's like super roomy, you've got a bunch of space, you can sit cross-legged, and they just enjoy how comfortable it is because it's bigger than a standard office chair. Now is a really great time to point out that plus size people struggle with this every day, everywhere we go. Theaters, airports, bars, you name it, chairs are too small for us. I wear a size 20 in jeans and most chairs in most places that I go are wildly uncomfortable. In fact, a job I had once, we were renovating a theater and somebody high up who is a thin person picked out the chairs for the theater and I couldn't fit in them and at the time I was a 16 in jeans. Seating options for the home and in public are wildly too small and this is a product of capitalism and we definitely don't talk about it enough. Anyway, love you, bye. The comment says, just restocked today. And the caption says, PSA, 
the viral aesthetic Amazon chair that sold out twice is back in stock today. You're acting like theater seats, airplane seats, and bar stools are comfortable only for thin people. I don't think any of these seats were built for total comfort. The office chair that's in the beginning of this TikTok looked comfy, but most office chairs lose their comfortability over time too. Capitalism has nothing to do with your refusal to lose weight and finding that perfect chair you so long for. If there's money to be made, believe me, that product would exist. And how dare your thin boss order theater chairs that you couldn't even fit in? She should have had your best interest in mind. I mean, why would she order smaller chairs if the audience is mostly obese? Right, I know. How insensitive of her. Ugh. But seriously, there are plenty of large seatings for the home. Are you even looking? If the seats were uncomfortable for you at size 16, what made you decide to gain four pants sizes? It's not the chair sizes, it's your jean size. Fix that and you'll have a better chance at finding a decent chair to sit in.